Hello and welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen, to a little bit of a look into MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. This is the trailer that was released in MechCon 2018. Uh, a little bit of news, though. MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries is slated for launch in 2019 fall sometime, I think about November-ish, but uh, yeah, so or September, I can't recall correctly. Either or, it's going to be released around that time frame, so we've got about a year, so there's time for a lot of the footage and some of the things that I saw with the video that I thought were a little janky, a little bit weird, to obviously improve, they've got a year of dev time, so... Either or, without further ado, let's take a quick look at this here trailer. There's only a couple things I noticed that I that piqued my curiosity, and a couple things I thought figured worth mentioning. But overall, in terms of like things, not much to discuss. So without further ado, let us get into this real quick here. So I'll turn down the volume. Now it's made with Piranha Games. Those are the guys who did the um, MMO, MechWarrior Online. Not a big fan of MechWarrior Online. MechWarrior Online just... Eh. Find it kind of eh. so I'm a little bit skeptical about a couple of things about the game. The game is going to be a cooperative game, sort of like uh, if anyone's familiar with Deep Rock Galactic, things like that is what I imagine the game will sort of end up playing like. But you're a mercenary, so you'll be like in Mech Warriors Mercenary Four. You'll be going around the Inner Sphere doing missions for various houses and all that cool shit. Now, a couple of things I notice here is when enemy mechs get hit, they seem to you know obviously react to the force that hits them, and I'm hoping that when the mechs move, we'll feel like we actually have some weight and mass to them. Versus, if anyone's familiar with MechWare Online or played that more recently, uh, mechs feel kind of weightless, they kind of feel floaty, they feel kind of like, uh, like, instead of a giant fucking metal box, it feels like a cardboard box instead, where it's just rather weightless, rather light, and it just doesn't really have any weight to acceleration or deceleration. Uh, for instance, that Locust looks like he's having a pretty easy time maneuvering, but it really depends. A good Locust pilot will be able to maneuver rather well. And you notice he just avoided that tank, not wanting to really deal with it. Now, that's one thing important to note, though. There are tanks now in Mech Warrior. Uh, at least this one. I've seen tanks and I've seen helicopters through some of the footage as well as defensive turrets. So we have some other additional things, which is good. Uh, that's, that's very good. I would like to see more additional other things besides just uh, for, uh, port vehicles or other military vehicles to fight. Because that's one thing I think that'll make Mech Warrior pop. The whole having like tanks, infantry, helicopters, it makes you feel like you're in a mech rather than, you know, it's just a bunch of it's a bunch of armored shooter guys walking around. That's what Mech Warrior Online sort of felt like. The destruction and the destructibility seems kind of interesting. We'll have to see how that works. I'm wondering how jumping on buildings will work. Uh, because the buildings seem to just crumble rather easily when bumped into or shot at. Uh, they just fall apart in a rather simple fashion. But it really depends. Ugh, the dragon. I hate that thing. But um, either way, it really depends on what they're going to do with it. I'm not 100% certain. Uh, will we eventually see melee added to the game? Or death from above strikes being encouraged? I don't know. Because uh, that's one thing that I was wondering. Because now that we... Like, what will we see? I, I just simply don't know. We can run through some buildings, like that mech just did there. Maybe it's dependent on the tonnage. That might be a factor. One thing I want you to notice is that tank, maybe he was panicking, but more than likely the AI was just being jerk, dank, janky there. He ran into the building, so... We'll have to see how the AI reacts to buildings. That's one thing I'm kind of wondering about, right? Like, are enemy vehicles just going to walk through the buildings or walk into them? Tanks do that? Like, eh? I don't know. Other than that, um... Not a whole lot to really say. It will be interesting to see how they do the multiplayer in terms of, like, you know, what are we going to see. It is going to be co-op based, again, four players, so I imagine it'll be relatively constrained, so to speak. Uh, but, again, it's all speculation at this point. There's not enough details. But uh, one thing, again, I want to really stress, though. Mass. Make the mechs feel weighted. Make them feel, you know, like mechs, like they do in the other Mech Warrior games. Uh, you know, the damage, how is that going to function? Are mechs going to go and like go critical like they used to do? Uh, and sometimes they can do in the tabletop. And will we see the addition of, you know, infantry? I, I've seen I've seen little infantry run around some of the uh, cinematics, but none of them actually fighting or really doing anything. Not that they should pose too much of a threat. Will we see jump jet infantry? There's a bunch of questions I have about the whole game. Um... But, again, it's mostly purely speculation. It's way too far out to really say for certain about anything about this game. Um, I have I have my hopes up. It looks good from all the footage we've seen. Um, but it's really going to... It's really going to feed... Like, the real factor, I think, 
the real big factor, and I want to stress this, how are we going to see things like, you know, stability? So do our mechs have mass and weight again? You know, when they move, accelerate, when they turn, does it feel like the actuators are actually pulling that metal? The, the, uh, the myomer fibers are actually, you know, the reactors powering these huge muscles within the mech and these actuators are, you know, lifting this huge massive chunks of steel and, you know, armaments? Or is it just going to feel, you know, rather weightless? I, I hope... We, we feel those weighty, the weightiness of that. The Atlas should be a little bit slower to turn, you know, versus things like the Shadowhawk and the Catapult. You know, they don't have arms, so you only... I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we'll see melee. I would hope. I would hope we would. Because could you imagine a Hatchet Man? No, this takes place in 2015. Not to go too much into lore, we won't probably see the Hatchet Man introduced yet. Um, oh, well. Other than that, though, that's kind of everything I have to say on the video. It didn't really have a lot of substance to it. Like, it had some gameplay footage, or what I believe to be gameplay footage, though I imagine heavily scripted and edited. Uh, so, eh, there's that. Uh, a little bit disappointed in terms of just, like, in terms of content reveal. It's In terms of understanding what's in the game, it's just speculation, and I don't really... Not a big fan of that. So, hopefully we'll see a change with that but uh until next time ladies and gentlemen you have yourself a good day and uh yeah i'll keep you tuned with the battle tech stuff and any sort of mech warrior substance we really get so hopefully we'll see more substance either or you guys have a great day and i'll talk to y'all later